This is the kitchen of the 1940s house, and the room in the house that's probably undergone the greatest changes since the Second World War. A look around the kitchen reveals that there are very few, if any, labour-saving devices. Hardly any British households had fridges at the beginning of the Second World War, and none had freezers. Washing machines were comparatively few. In the kitchen here, there is an electrically heated tub which was used to do the household laundry. At the time, Monday was washing day in Britain. It was a very time-consuming task that the housewife had to do in washing and indeed doing the washing up. No detergents, just done with household soap and soap flakes. And even they were rationed from February 1942 onwards. China, glassware and cutlery were also all in very short supply during the Second World War. Keeping the 1940s house clean was also a difficult and time-consuming task. A few households did have electric hoovers, but most just had the carpet sweeper. A broom, dustpan and brush were used for sweeping up the dirt, whilst the kitchen floor would be mopped up with a bucket of soap and water. Lacking a fridge, most of the household's edible foods were placed either in the larder cupboard or in a separate pantry in some of the older houses. Food was rationed in Britain from the 8th of January 1940. Ration books had been issued in November 1939 and the first items of food to be rationed were bacon and ham, butter and sugar. Other foods were added later, meat going on the ration in March 1940. Here is a typical week's ration of food. Churchill, when shown that week's ration, said that doesn't look a bad meal to me, but had to be told, but Prime Minister, that's for an entire week. And the Prime Minister said, oh, my poor people. Fuel was also rationed during the Second World War, and housewives were advised to cook as much as possible in one go to conserve fuel. Behind the cornflakes packet, there's the family bread bin. Bread wasn't actually rationed during the Second World War, but was rationed from July 1946 for the next two years. During the war, a national wholemeal loaf was introduced, but it wasn't at all popular with the public. 